Welcome to Unit 4. In this unit, we are going to focus on some of the speaking skills that are important for job seekers to develop. Networking is a big part of the job search process. We're going to talk about what networking is and why it is important in your career development. In later videos, we will focus on what to say and how to say it. Let's begin with some definitions. First, a network is a connection between many things or people. In career development, networking means connecting with other people to talk about your job search and career goals. You can talk to other people formally at a professional conference or informally at lunch with friends. When you are networking, you are meeting new people and learning more about different jobs and companies. Networking is about building professional relationships which take time to grow. When you meet new people, you learn about common interests or things you both know about. For example, two co-workers meet while working for a large financial company in New York. They quickly learn that they both went to the same university. This common background is the beginning of their professional relationship and may help them learn about some other things that they have in common, such as major or subject areas, work experiences, or other people they both know. These are called mutual friends or acquaintances. When you meet new people and discover common interests, they become a part of your professional network. There are many ways to increase or add to your professional network. First, you can join a professional organization, which is a group of people with similar occupations or careers. Second, you can use social media websites like LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. Third, you can contact college alumni groups. Alumni groups are a connection of current and past students from the same university. Once you have a group of people, your network can be very important for your career because they might know about job openings that are not advertised. When some companies add jobs, they may not need to advertise online or in newspapers because they use their current employees to fill new positions. Let's look at an example of how networking really works. Jack is a manager at a large tech company, and he is looking for an additional web designer to add to the team. After he told his team, Marta remembered that her friend, Jin Su, is a web designer and looking for a new job. Marta calls Jin Su and recommends that he contact her manager, Jack, about the job. As a result of this network, Jin Su learns about an unadvertised job, sends his resume and cover letter, and interviews for the job. After the interview, Jin Su thanks Marta with a phone call or by sending her an email or a letter. In summary, we have learned that networking is connecting with other people to talk about job openings and career goals. We also learned how to increase your network by joining organizations and using social media websites. Remember that networking is about building professional relationships and can help you to learn about jobs that are not advertised online or in newspapers.